Hello, and welcome to your Tapping on Feeling Hurt. My name is Laura Mazzotta, and I've been a spiritual therapist for 20 years and a holistic mental health coach. And tapping is one of my favorite modalities. If you have not used it before, I encourage you to pause this video, head over to the link in the description of this video to my website, where you will find a guide to take you through what tapping is, why it works, and how it helps you heal. You'll also find a visual there of the different tapping points so you can follow along with this process. So today we're gonna to be tapping on feeling hurt. I did not prepare anything for this. I'm just gonna let it flow. And we're just gonna allow whatever intuitively comes through to be what we are needing and desiring in this moment. So close your eyes and take a nice deep breath in, placing your feet on the floor and straightening your spine by tucking your tailbone and tucking your chin. And slowly release on the exhale. Just tune into your physical body and your emotional body, identifying how you feel on a scale of one to 10, 10 being, I feel amazing. And one being, I feel pretty hurt. I'm pretty down in the dumps. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. We're going to start with the karate chop points. So you can just repeat after me, starting with a deep breath in. Even though I'm feeling hurt, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm feeling hurt right now, I know this will pass. I know I am resilient. And I know I am receiving deeper lessons through this experience. Keep tapping and take a deep breath. And just follow along with the tapping points. Oh, my heart is really hurting. I feel like I want to cry or scream. And sometimes I just don't know what to do with this emotion. I feel the need to talk to the person who hurt me. I feel the need to explain myself. So that they and I understand where I'm coming from. Because I want to stay connected and I don't want to feel hurt anymore. And we're in this together. We need to communicate. Communication is part of a healthy relationship. And I want to be honest and authentic about how I'm feeling. But I do not want to rely on this person for making me feel better. That's not fair to them or me. I am responsible for my own vibration. And I choose to proudly accept that responsibility. I get to choose to set a boundary with this other person if it's needed. And if I need to cry, I can cry. I offer myself space for the energy to flow through. And I'm very compassionate and patient with myself as it does. I can feel this anxiety coming up around this as well. Like I don't wanna lose this person, this connection, this feeling.
And I remember that gripping onto things doesn't do any good. That forcing or dragging anyone along is not productive. And I don't want that in my life. I want people in my life who think I'm amazing and phenomenal and want to be with me all the time. I want people who support my long-term growth and expansion. And take action to back that. I'm allowed to feel hurt. And if I express this and we can quickly repair, great. And if we can't, I offer both of us space. And I breathe love into that space. I breathe patience into that space. I breathe surrender into that space. Keep tapping and take a deep breath here. And I offer that space to my higher power. So it can serve us both in the most highly aligned way. I trust God and I trust the universe. I know that all relationships are soul contracts for my highest growth. And I receive them with grace. Knowing that the closer I get to my true self, the more easily I know what is not aligned. And I don't have to grip onto anything. I just get to flow and allow. Keep tapping here again and take a deep breath. In this moment, I send myself so much love. And I get excited about the fact that aligned relationships get to feel easy. They get to feel freeing. They allow my nervous system to feel grounded and safe and held. And I get to rest in them as I continue to explore my humanity. Because being human is messy. And I smile with compassion at my ability to show up for myself every day. to turn towards myself and move this energy through. That's a level of space and attention that I cannot receive from anyone but me. And I can feel it deeply in my bones.
resting in the knowing that I will always have my own back. Put your hands down, close your eyes, take a deep breath in. And release. Identifying on that scale of one to 10, how you're feeling. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. And if there's feelings or emotions that came up around this that you'd like to continue tapping on, you can return to this video again. You can go to one of the other videos on my EFT tapping playlist on my YouTube channel, or you can use whatever resonated the most as journal prompts or mantras. Thank you so much for joining me for this video, and I will see you on the next tapping. Have a good day.